the 2017 Pride March Grand Marshal, Alex Yuen, a fighter for human rights who refuses to give up until fascist America is driven out. Make some noise! I miss this guy. He wasn't perfect. Right? And probably some people out here didn't vote for him. But with what we have now, I wish he was the fuck back. I'm gonna put you away now, boyfriend. Man, I'm not used to being this confined, so forgive me if I move around too much. But look, people, I'm so used to being close to you. So look, this administration is so fucked up. Let me say that again and join me. This administration is so fucked up. Whether you voted for this administration, because I refuse to say their fucking names because TP is toilet paper to me. Whether you voted for these people or not, you have work to do. We, who did not vote for them, have work to do. And we are here doing it. There's a lot of people that ask, well, how can I help? What can I do? And I tell you, I spoke at the Trans March earlier in the month, a couple of weeks ago. I had a gentleman come up to me today, or a gentle person, come up to me today and say, I didn't know what to do with myself. I am so angry. I am so pissed. I do not know what to do with myself. But when I heard you speak at the Trans March, I knew exactly what I had to do, and he is here with a no t-shirt on, he is volunteering at the tables. That is what we have to do. Our work doesn't, isn't finished with days like today. As a queer person living in this United States, I say it over and over again. Since this motherfucker got in opposite office, I am so afraid to be here. I am afraid as a queer person. I am afraid as somebody over 40. I am afraid as somebody who has a pre-assistant condition. I am afraid for my nieces and nephews who have to come up behind and clean up this shit. I don't want to be afraid. I have people like you who have my back. So I resist fear. I resist the lies that I'm heard when somebody else would be in prison for those lies. And then I'm gonna give it to them. I'm resisting the hate that spews out of this administration. They seemed and the people who support them to have a blank check to do whatever the fuck they want. Oh! That's not a right, is it? No! So we are here to say what? Hell no, no, fuck off, whatever it is, but we are here to say something that allows us to take our human rights back. Our immigrants, brothers and sisters, are full human beings. Our Muslims and refugees, brothers and sisters, are full human beings. We are talking about humanity here, people. Humanity. Basic human rights that are being taken away day by day. It's been a hundred X days, and I feel like it's been a century because every time we turn around, there is something more that is taken away from us. All of you know that queers didn't make it in the census this year. All of you know that queers are not represented on any of the websites on the White House. 
You understand that at a stroke of a pen, things are changed around my life and other queer brothers and sisters that are standing with me today. We need to rise, resist, unite. Say it with me. We need to rise, resist, unite. Say it again. We need to rise, resist, unite. That's right. Our black and Latino people are full human beings. Our trans brothers and sisters are full human beings. And wherever they fucking want to piss, piss wherever you fucking want to piss. Because we all have to do it, and there is no private place that says you can only do it here. You know, my family and my ancestors are immigrants too. We weren't asked to come here, we were forced to come here. It wasn't a happy time. You have to remember how far back things have happened and they're repeating themselves. Our Japanese brothers and sisters didn't ask to be retained, but they were. And now we have the same thing going on with our brown brothers and sisters and their families and our children being afraid to go home because one of their abuelitas or abuelitos or uncles or aunties, cousins themselves are going to be deported and may not be there when they come home from school. We have a stress level in our school system right now that far surpassed any stress level that has ever been in our school system and who do we have as an education person? Do both. Please, Mary. One that only believes what she believes. One that had to be decided by Pence to get into office. One that doesn't know her ass from a hole in the ground. And we have her. I don't see any support coming from that woman anytime soon. She paid enough money. Her brother paid enough money to be in that spot. So we are not going to see her leaving anytime soon. And let me get back to my black brothers and sisters. It is not okay, is it? that we are fearful when we see these black and whites all around us, gathered in the corner, taking pictures, looking at us. It's not right, but yet there's a fear there. And how many black brothers and sisters do you see here today? Look around. You can count us on one fucking hand. Why is that? This is something that we as people need to change and work on. Because we should be safe just like anybody else. Our brown brothers and sisters, our Asian brothers and sisters, our black brothers and sisters, and you, our allies, should feel safe no matter what you do. And if you don't feel safe, tell somebody. Write a letter. Send it to legislation. Do you realize there are six states right now in the South that are writing legislation that eliminates who I am as a queer person? Do you realize that? They're writing it off as if it is a religious right and therefore you cannot teach my children anymore. You cannot be in my district. And you know what? I think you're gay so I'm going to go to the HR and I'm going to ask them that I don't feel safe around you. That's where we're coming to. And if we don't stop this shit, that we are going to roll back so far that we are not going to be able to change it. So, yes, we are fearful, but we should be fearful on the shit that we have to take care of. That's the fear that we should be recognizing. That is the fear, not the fear from these motherfuckers, but the fear that we hold inside ourselves because these changes are going to change our life. We have the power. 
approval rate, where are his homeboys now? So that means if that number is right, that we have 78%. Doesn't that say that we have the power, yes or no? Yeah. Yes. We have the power. And if we don't act on that, there is a small window of time, people. If we do not act on that, we have lost the power. Our voices, our actions, everything in your human being today is what you should be holding on to and saying, I am not intimidated and I am not fucking going anywhere and you are going to hear my voice, you are going to feel my power, you are going to be someone that I will eliminate and I will be in your face to do it. Every person in this country is a full human being. Our children, our elderly, our poor. What happens with them? Most of them don't have a voice. Some of them can't speak. Some of them don't even speak our language yet. What do we do to help them? We can't send them back. We can't let them die. And don't get me started on health care. Because our trans brothers and sisters are struggling right now and so are our poor because they are afraid that the health care that they have to survive for meds, for operations, for wherever they are in their post-op as far as trans people, wherever they are in their health care as far as our poor and children, they are afraid. I got a call from Kaiser the other day. They are being proactive. They wanted to make sure that I had insurance. Oh yeah, it makes them money. But, you know, I must give it to them. They're being proactive. And if they can be proactive as a corporation, organization, sorry, .org, we can too. We have to really think about what changes we can make. 2018 is a big year for us, but we can't wait for 2018 for the clock to turn. That action has to happen right now. We have to support the people who are running. We have to get people in those offices. We have to. We have to change these numbers or else if this asshole does not get impeached, we are going to be living the hell. So I want your mantra to be, what can I do to change for 2018 and beyond? What can I do? And play it like the whisper game. Tell somebody who will tell somebody who will tell somebody and maybe at the end of that they got it right. The earth and our species are important to us. And we have somebody who doesn't believe in science, who thinks that our earth is gonna go on forever and that he can sell money, he can sell plots and sell our oceans and do whatever he can to have people make money off of our land and put pollution in the air. But we can't stand that. We cannot let that happen. So, all of this to say, people, and I'm sorry, it took probably more time than I should, but, I mean, I'm fired up, and I know you're fired up, and I know you want to take some change, but I'm fired up for a reason. I am queer. I am black. I am native. Whose land you are standing on right now, let's give a whoop to the Olanis. I have a precondition. I am someone with a pussy. And I am proud and not intimidated and I ain't fucking going anywhere and I want all of you to remain with me and let's put this to bed and get that motherfucker out of the White House. Thank you.